since you likely won't be using this application, one of the items I strongly suggest is you simply press your home button, go to the menu bar, choose settings, go to accounts and sync, go to Google, uncheck sync contacts, sync Gmail, sync calendar, and simply press your home button. And that will keep it from trying to load Gmail if you don't ever check that email. There's no reason to have it. So again, I now need to go back into the market now that my account's set up. So I simply click the menu button. I choose market. They're in alphabetical order. And it brings me to the market homepage. In the upper right corner is a little button of a magnifying glass. And I'm going to type in the word launcher, L-A-U-N-C-H-E-R-P-R-O-W. I'm going to click go. There's several items that pop up on Launcher Pro. None of those are the ones we want. It probably means... I'm not certain why. We'll hit Show All Results for Launcher Pro. And here it is in the bar. It's the one that looks like a small house. I hit back, I'm sorry. The one that looks like a small house. It's called Launcher Pro by Federico Carnales. It's a little house, orangey yellow house. Um, and it is free. Don't confuse it for the one that says Launcher Pro Decal that says Droid Pirate. It's Launcher Pro, Federico, Carnales. It's free. That's the app you want to choose. Simply press it, and then I press install. It's going to give me some warnings. Go ahead and click OK. And it says your item is being downloaded. If I come to the top of my phone and I drag this down, it'll give me a status. And you'll see right now Launcher Pro is at almost completed downloading and now Launcher Pro is installing on my phone. It now says successfully installed. All I need to do at this point is press my home button. It's going to prompt me and say Launcher HTC Sense or Launcher Pro and then underneath there's a checkbox that says use this default for this action. Select the box that says use this default, press Launcher Pro, and that now takes me to my new home page. We find that this home page is a little bit more efficient, but there's some configurations that I would recommend. You don't have to do, but I would. Um, first thing is at the bottom, you now have a phone icon, contacts, a menu bar, which is the same thing as that previous app drawer, your text messaging, and your internet. So the app on here for text messaging, I can simply highlight with a long click and then drag it to the trash can. Sorry. And then highlight the internet and drag it to the trash can because they're not needed on my screen any longer because again they're down here one of the things I will configure is I'll simply press the options button which is this one that looks like little lines I go to preferences I go to dock settings I'm sorry dock settings I choose it to display my missed call count and my unread SMSS count my text messages on the front screen so those little icons we saw at the bottom if I have a missed call it'll show one two three four or if I have text messages it'll show one two three four so it's a nice little thing to make sure that's checked so again those two I checked and I simply hit the back button I then choose behavior settings under behavior settings there's this action or option for home key action I choose that and I pick do nothing and then I want to select home key to default screen check that option now I press home key and no matter what application I'm in if I press the home key it'll take me right back to the screen I would recommend putting an icons that you use on here for recommendation I would pick the home button I would come and pick my calendar I press and long hold it and just drag it somewhere on the screen I would press the menu button again and I'm gonna choose email which is not installed in this phone so you will wanna pick the one that says email this is a fresh install of a phone but you could this is mail you want to choose the one that says email for your summit email and drag and drop that on the phone you could then press this again and frequently used items like possibly your camera you can drag and drop that onto the phone you could also press or press that come down to the bottom choose your video chat long hold it and drop it onto the screen you can also choose M Comet which is the, for the technicians how they clock in and clock out. There would be an application on here between market and media room called M Comet. 
Again, you'd select that just like I'm doing to Media Room here and drop that on the screen. So now on your home screen, all your frequently used apps can be easily accessible. So again, no matter what I'm in in this application, if I'm in Maps or whatever I might possibly be in, if I always press the Home key, it'll take me right back here um, and seems to create a lot less confusion. The next application we're going to install will dramatically improve your battery life. I'm going to choose Market. I'm going to choose the search option and I'm going to type advanced with a D advanced goodness if I can type task advanced task killer that's advanced task killer and press go the first option that pops up is Advanced Task Killer. By It's a free application. Choose that one. Tell it to install. Say OK. And it says your item will be downloaded. If I simply drag my screen down on the top, I can see what's going on. It says it's now successfully installed. I can simply press that from here. And it's going to take me to the home screen of Advanced Task Killer. What I want to do is press the Options button choose settings scroll here actually at the very top of this or next to the top it says show notification uncheck show notification you'll see that it's checked now simply uncheck it and then scroll towards the bottom and there's an area that says auto kill level choose that and tell it aggressive then the next one is auto kill frequency choose that and choose the option that says when screen off. What that's doing for you is anytime your screen turns off all these rogue applications that are running in the background draining your battery will be closed and turned off so your battery life will last substantially longer. I press the back button and there's a couple applications I don't want it to close by default one of which is the application itself Advanced Task Killer. So if I touch Advanced Task Killer and hold it it pops up with a small list one of the options is ignore that's what you want to press is ignore. The next application, there could be multiple here listed, you would scroll up and find M Comet. Again, M Comet on your phones. This is a test phone, so it's not installed, but I would press and hold it and again choose ignore. What that's doing is keeping it from track tech, uh, excuse me, closing your time clock application. So you'll see in this case this phone has 302 megabyte of memory on. If I simply turn off the screen, turn back on the screen, and go back into this, you'll now see that there's 393 mega memory available. So it closed several applications that were unneeded on the device. That now will run in the background, and anytime your screen's turned off, it kills those extra applications and dramatically improves your battery life. The third change we need to make a recommended change to your device so your device can work in data coverage outside of T-Mobile's direct network is going into the main menu bar, choosing the option of settings. Under settings, choose wireless and networks. Under wireless and networks, choose mobile networks, not mobile network, which shows a checkbox and shows connected, but mobile networks. Under this option, it's giving me a few things. Towards the bottom, you'll actually see where it says network operators. That's where if I had to force my phone on a different network, I could. We shouldn't have to um, since these phones are designed to um, basically find the proper network. But the top box says data roaming. Connect to data services when roaming. So let's say you're in an area that's only covered by AT&T, not by T-Mobile. You need to be able to connect to their network. In this case, we simply, oh, my phone timed out. I simply click the box for data roaming. It pops up with a message and it says, Allow data roaming? Question mark. You may incur significant data roaming charges. We do press OK here. The only time you'd incur data roaming charges is if you were traveling overseas on international towers. We do have data roaming in the U.S. covered in our plan. So, um, what this is, 
allow, now allows your phone to do is to connect to AT&T's data network or what have you. So if you've had conditions where your phone's not getting good T-Mobile coverage, you'll be able to access the AT&T coverage. So it'll be similar to as we had before with AT&T. So that your device is now configured. You have your new launcher, which is your new uh, window here, which we seem to be a much more stable platform. You have added your applications on your home screen. We've installed the advanced task killer, which is now running in the background, which anytime your screen turns off, kills any applications that are unneeded, which will keep your battery from draining. And we have configured our phone to work properly with data networks um, that are outside of T-Mobile to allow you to get the maximum coverage possible. I hope this video is helpful.